Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Mullen Automotive. The report was first published on our website Thursday, May 26, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell Mullen Automotive? In this video you will get insight in both the technical and the fundamental situation in addition to future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Our systems currently rank the Mullen Automotive stock with a minus 5.149 score, and our system has ranked Mullen Automotive sell candidates since April 18, 2022. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 46.74%. This is an average return of minus 1.61% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Mullen Automotive our last headline reads, Red Day on Thursday for Mullen Automotive Incorporated. The Mullen Automotive Incorporated stock price fell by minus 3.92% on the last day, Thursday, May 26, 2022, from $1.02 to 98 cents. During the day the stock fluctuated 7.14% from a day low at 98 cents to a day high of $1.05. The price has fallen in six of the last 10 days, but is still up by 13.14% over the past two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day by 6 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 33 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $32.04 million. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $15.90, and the lowest price was $0.52. Cents. Right now the price is 93.84%, or $14.92, below 52-week high at $15.90, which also is all-time high for the stock. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 27.24% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 6.68% and 194.36%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 96.85% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 9.90% and 3%. This equals a price between $0.88 cents and $1.01 and .01 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts Mullen Automotive stock received a general neutral rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Mullen Automotive stock a strong sell rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Mullen Automotive. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the 3-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Mullen Automotive Incorporated stock holds sell signals from both short and long term moving averages, giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long term average is above the short term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $1.03 and $1.42. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, March 22, 2022, and so far it has fallen minus 70.39%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a buy signal. Pivots gave a sell signal 47 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal not applicable days ago. The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal five days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal 30 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart gave a buy signal 28 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average gave a sell signal four days ago. The long-term moving average gave a sell signal 100 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 97 days ago. 
Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Mullen Automotive On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $0.89 cents and $0.87. Cents. There is natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Mullen Automotive Incorporated finds support just below today's level at $0.89. Cents. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $0.87 cents and $0.79. Cents. This stock may move very much during the day, volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be very high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $0.0700 between high and low, or 7.14%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 8.07%. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Mullen Automotive meets first resistance at 99 cents. If you do not hold Mullen Automotive shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Mullen Automotive finds first level of support at 89 cents and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebound upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Mullen Automotive is neutral. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On May 23, 2022 Mishiri David made an inside sell of 750,000 of common stock. On April 22, 2022 Sadler Carey made an inside sell of 1,000 of common stock. On April 9, 2022 Sadler Carey made an inside sell of 1,000 of common stock. On April 8, 2022 Popa Colleen made an inside buy of 100,000 of common stock. On April 7, 2022 Sadler Carey made an inside sell of 2,000 of common stock. Based on the 56 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be positive at a ratio of 9.935. In total, the insiders bought 3,511,155 and sold 2,799,082 shares in the last 56 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Mullen Automotive stock a buy? Mullen Automotive Incorporated holds several negative signals and is within a very wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Friday 27th we expect Mullen Automotive to open up $0.0233 and start trading at $1. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. Remember that anyone leaving a company stand the chance of winning a lifetime subscription worth $495 to our services. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.